Team keep it clean. I'm, I'm hyped for this week. I'm ready for it, man. It should be a lot of fun. But anyway, we'll get to that when we get to it. But first and foremost, uh, I know we said we were going to start with question from subscribers, and that was always the plan, but the Bills decided, you know what? We want to sort of disrupt what Ravens fans been trying to have going on early this morning. So about 30 minutes ago, well, from when I'm recording this, the Buffalo Bills, they made a move that could help them out a lot, especially as Von Miller recovers from his injury. Hopefully he'll be ready by the start of the season. I don't know what his status is, but this reunites him with his buddy that he served alongside with, with the Los Angeles Rams that helped them win a Super Bowl. Because the Buffalo Bills, they are signing pass rusher Leonard Floyd. And the reason that I needed to bring this up, because one, you know, you know Buffalo Bills, with them, they, they always up to something. They always up to something every single offseason, every single year. They usually make these big moves where it's like, whoa, okay, Bills, I didn't know you could still do that. And while this may not be the big move, this is a significant move for Buffalo and their pass rush. I mean, they got Von Miller still, obviously. They just signed Ed Oliver to a contract extension. And now they bring in Leonard Floyd. So they really, really trying to get after the quarterback. But I respect it, and I, I admire it, and I appreciate it. But one thing that a lot of Ravens fans wanted, because trust me, I've seen it all up and down, the comment section, video after video after video after video after video, especially when we talk about the pass rush, a lot of Ravens fans must say, hey, let's get Leonard Floyd. Let's sign Leonard Floyd. Bring in Leonard Floyd. Oh, we could get Leonard Floyd. He could be that veteran pass rusher that we've been looking for. But Bill said, oh, we've been reading the comment section, and now it's a no-no. So Bill swooped in, and they got that pass rusher that so many Ravens fans have been clamoring for. But it's okay. It's all right. It's all right, Bill. We see you. We respect it. But Ravens, y'all still got some options out there. And hey, maybe, just maybe, the pass rusher, the outside linebacker, the edge guy that I've been clamoring for for years, for a long, a long time. It's literally been years. Maybe it, it could still happen. Maybe. There's a bigger chance of it happening now. I mean, if Ravens are still even in the market for another edge guy, a veteran edge guy. Not to say that they necessarily need it, but I mean, maybe they could use it. They could use a little more, a little bit more. Because while the, the, the boat that I'm in, I am excited for the youth. Uh, we talked about reunions with Leonard Floyd and Von Miller being reunited again. That's what's going to happen next year, well, this year, with David Ajabo and Adafi Away. They should be officially reunited. And maybe this will be the year where I think the Ravens are really going to push David Ajabo now. Because last year was sort of a red shirt year. Last year was anything you got out of him. And we said this at the beginning of the year. Anything that the Ravens got out of David Ajabo last year is a bonus. Should be considered a bonus. Uh, but like my guy Noah said when he was on the channel uh, a couple days a couple days ago, he mentioned how with David Ajabo, he said he is him. He is that guy, uh, and he expects him to go off this year, uh, especially because he was a projected top five pick, top fifteen pick at the minimum. But he expects him to deliver on that now. This will be his year, and that would be amazing to see. I would love to see that. But when you think about Ravens' pass rush. It could be nice. It could be solid. It could be solid because right now they got David Ajabo. They got Adafi away. Uh, they got Tyus Bowser. Um, they drafted a, a pass rusher. But um, it seems to be pretty thin there overall. Uh, and I feel like with Ravens pass rush, as of right now, um, they're banking on potential. And there's not necessarily anything wrong with that. But um, sometimes you, in certain positions, you want to have a short thing there too. Somebody who may have been there and done that or whatnot, or, or somebody who's more proven too. And not even that you're saying, hey, we got this proven guy here, and, and that's going to take away from the young guys at the pass rush position. But it could be like one of them things where, hey, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. We have a proven here guy. We got a proven guy here. I'm over here doing a tongue twister. We got a proven guy here. So just in case the young boys ain't quite ready, we got somebody that can come in and fill in. That's it. Could that be a Jadavian Clowney? <laughs> I don't know. 
I, hey, I, don't, I wouldn't be mad at it. But we'll see. I know um, Justin Houston is obviously still out there, too. Uh, and I don't know what his status is. I haven't heard anything at all about his status. The market for Justin Houston, nothing. Um, I don't know if the Ravens are interested in bringing him back. Uh, I don't know if he has interest from other teams. Maybe some of y'all have heard something, but I have literally zero clue on what's going on with Justin Houston. But um, I, I do feel like Ravens could beef up there just a, just a little bit, just a little bit. And again, let's stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Because it'll be nice if, if the guys that we have, if they can really blossom. And we, we remember Ty, Tyus Bowser. He, of course, two years ago, uh, he was really turning the corner. Um, last year, uh, oh, yeah, last year he was recovering from injury. I forgot. Yeah, last year he got back from injury. Look, because two years ago, he was really turning the corner. He was coming on strong, especially toward the end of the season, really finding his groove. And then in the, la the very last game of the season, that's why I felt so bad for him, man. The very last game of the season, he got hurt. I was like, oh. I think it was his Achilles or AC. I think it was his Achilles. But whatever it was, he got hurt. And it's like, oh, so that 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 messed him up for this past season. It kind of set him back. And um, so, yeah, now he'll be a year removed uh, from being hurt, uh, like a four-year remove. So he should be a lot better, healthier and whatnot going into this season, which is a, a beautiful thing because, as we know, Again, last year, we'll stay ready so you don't got to get ready. I mean, you can say that every year, but this year for the Baltimore Ravens, health is wealth. Because, again, I, I re the way that they got the team constructed right now, and they still got some more moves that they can make, but health is the only thing that could get in the way, in my opinion. It, it really, and, of course, you're going to have some games here and there that you mess up or whatnot. Because it happens every year, but health would be the Ravens, really their biggest enemy, man. So hopefully this will be the year where they conquer that. This will be the year where they can just really be healthy, like really be healthy. Because if they are, man, like, oof, <laughs> ooh. But also uh, just referring to my guy Noah from For the Flock when we had him on, something that he also brought out was about uh, the pass rush, sort of uh, making a break. And not necessarily making a break in the defense, but them being able to make the Ravens go from being a good defense to an elite defense, if they can get the pass rush right. Because we know the, the Ravens, as far, with the pass rush, that's something that they had struggled with for years. It improved last year now. It really did. And now we got some pass rush. We got some sacks and some production, some pressure from some different departments than just the pass rush. And that's what you got to do. You got to get creative sometimes. Because, you know, Marlon Humphrey, they would send him in on blitzes and whatnot. They would put him in the slot. And then all of a sudden, it looked like Marlon covering the slot guy. No, no, he's going to blitz. You know, Kyle Hamilton, I, I said it throughout last year, Kyle Hamilton was the best pass rusher on the Ravens last year. And we said it jokingly, but at the same time, there was some truth to it, too. So Kyle Hamilton, I mean, you want to call him a safety, you want to call him an outside linebacker passer, you can call it whatever you want to. But that boy can play. Uh, and, and I love what he said about... Uh, I love what he said about um, the the PFF grade. I know a lot of people, oh, yeah, he was the top-graded safety in the league last year. And that's technically true, but he wasn't really playing safety like that. He, like, so, but, and I love, how, I, I love how he addressed that. So shout out to Hammy. But anyway, um, yeah, what, what my guy Noah said about the pass rush, it, it does make sense. Because if they can have an elite pass rush, they can have a great pass rush. Oof, that would... Be great. But anyway, team keep it clean. We'll see what the Ravens do next. If they even address Edge. Because Ravens might be like, you know what? Hey, we, we set. We straight. We don't need nobody. We don't need nothing. So, but I I don't think they'll do that. <laughs> but, what, but what do I know? I don't know nothing from nothing. So, we'll see if the Ravens do anything at that position. Anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And just like the Ravens are when it comes to being in the Leonard Floyd sweepstakes. We out.